Hi, and welcome to this episode of Firecasts. I'm Lawrence Moroni, a developer advocate on Firebase, and today we're going to talk about email validation with Firebase Auth. When Firebase first launched, it allowed your users to create an account on your app when they signed in with an email address and a password. But this email address could be anything. It wasn't linked to the original account, so your users could identify themselves as just about anybody. To solve this, email verification has been added to Firebase Auth, where once a user signs up for an account with an email address, Firebase will send an email to that address containing a validation link. You can then check to see if the account is verified at sign-in and take an action in response, such as blocking the sign-in attempt for accounts that aren't verified. Let's see this in action. I'm going to show the sample app from the Firebase Auth Quick Start, available at github.com, the link for which is in the description below this video. This can be adapted for your app pretty easily enough. When you run the app and select Email Password Authentication, you'll see this screen. It gives you the option to sign in if you have an account already, or create a new account if you don't. When you click the Create Account button, you'll go to a new activity showing the user identity and the Firebase user ID that's associated with it. You'll also see that the email isn't yet verified, but there's a button allowing you to verify it. Once the user clicks on this button, an email will be sent to the address. This email will contain a link, and once that link is clicked, the account will be verified. You can see what the email looks like in the Email Templates tab in the Authentication section of the Firebase console. This offers you some customization, such as the action link or the reply address being editable, so the email can appear to come from your domain. Now, if the user verifies their email address by clicking on that link, once they sign into the app, you'll now see that they are verified. You'll also see that the user is present in the Firebase console, and you can manage them from there, including changing their password or removing them from your app altogether. So let's take a look at the code. Details on the coding can be found in the Manage Users section of the Firebase documentation. The links are in the description below. The core functionality is found on the Firebase user object like this. On it is a send email verification method, which returns a task, which is used to manage sending the email and reporting on its status. If the task is successful, you'll know that the mail was sent. In this case, the user is retrieved from mauth.getCurrentUser, and the send email verification method is then called on that. When the task is successful, you'll see a toast that pops up. After the user clicks on the link in the email, subsequent calls to user is email verified will return true. Here's how it's used in the sample app to render the text that we saw earlier. You can learn more about Firebase Auth, including sign in with other providers like Google, Facebook, Twitter, and more on the Firebase developer site. Stay tuned for more Firebase videos, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.